Hello, and welcome to another episode of Psychic Sunday. I'm Erin Ashley with ErinAshleyCoaching.com, and today's episode is about the science behind being an empath. So I'm really excited about this episode because I love science, and I'm also an empath, and so this is just really fun for me. First of all, what does it mean to be an empath? An empath is someone who experiences other people's and other things stuff as though it's their own. So if you are an earth empath, you will feel the energies of the earth inside your physical body in some way. If you are an emotional empath, you're going to feel other people's emotions inside your physical body. If you are a physical empath, you're going to feel their aches and pains inside your body. So if they're experiencing a pain in their elbow, you are going to get a pain in your elbow. I have already done a video about five types of empaths. I will have a link below. So if you're interested in learning more about that, just click below to watch after you're done with this video. The science behind being an empath starts with your heart field. And this is really, really, really cool. So your heart actually has an electromagnetic field around it. And this is called your heart field. What happens is this field is stronger than the electromagnetic field that comes from your brain. So, so if, whenever scientists go and measure brain waves, they're measuring the electromagnetic activity of your brain. Now they can now do this with your heart field and they can measure what's going on inside your heart. And a trained scientist can look at the little squiggly lines from 15 feet away and tell you what emotions you are feeling. So it's really cool. Now here's the other really cool thing about it. Every single person on the face of the planet also has skin cell receptors on their skin that transmits other people's heart fields and that information gets processed by the heart. So that information travels through the skin to the heart and for people who are empaths and super sensitive, the heart will mimic, literally mimic what other people are experiencing. So that is why whenever you are around someone who is sad, if you're an emotional empath, all of a sudden you start to feel sad. Even if you're not interacting with them, it just kind of hits you from out of nowhere. So this is what it looks like. Let's say you go to the store and there's a happy person around and you are an emotional empath, someone who picks up other people's emotions. And they're on the other side of the aisle and in, in the grocery store. And all of a sudden they're, heart waves are traveling to you in your heart. And whenever that happens, ta-da, now you are feeling happy too. Thank you so much for watching. This was an episode about your the science behind being an empath. I think the science is really, really cool. So if you like this video and you know someone who's an empath, feel free to share it with them. Send them a personal email. They'll love it. It's really fascinating stuff. Thank you for watching and make sure you are on the email list if you want Psychic Sunday delivered to your inbox every week. Love you. I'll see you next week.